Hey guys, welcome back and happy Monday. All right guys, well happy Labor Day and also happy Hot Messy Topics and Let's Whine About It Day. I'm hoping that you guys can join us for Hot Messy Topics and for Let's Whine About It, but I do understand a lot of people are barbecuing, they're hanging out with their families and everything in between. But in the meantime, we're back to talk about Lisa Rinna who has an alleged new lawsuit and this is coming from Patrick Summers. Remember the guy who claimed at one point he was with Kathy Hilton, then he claimed he was working for Lisa Rinna with Lisa Rinna. I don't even know at this point. There's so many different stories and it's like, I just can't keep up. But now he's claiming that there are lawsuits going on. So we're back to talk about it. But before we jump in, if you guys haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And with that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so I saw this on Bravo Bees, and this came out, this was on Twitter, and I woke up to this this morning. Breaking, reality star Lisa Rinna is suing Patrick Somers for slander, and he is suing her back. Lisa is requesting $350,000 for damages he's caused her in relation to hashtag Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and he is countersuing for $2 million. What? Okay, so he actually put on his social media on Instagram, his story. He said, I have just learned that Lisa Renna is suing me for breach of verbal contract and slander. She is seeking $350,000 in damages. I'm wondering too, if she can, if she is able to sue him, if there was ever a contract, which a lot of people swear that there never was a contract to begin with, but if there was and it's breach of contract or there was an NDA involved, I'm pretty sure you can sue someone. Some people are questioning you know, who's actually telling the truth here. And I saw right under Bravo B's where someone posted a poll. Who do you believe? It says 30.6% Lisa and 69.4% Patrick. People are starting to believe Patrick. And he did post a screenshot of an email with the Wall Street Journal saying that all of the facts, all of the truths, all of the DMs, the phone calls, the emails, the photos, the videos, everything's going to be coming out soon. This is going to be the most factual publication to date when it comes to this whole fiasco. Now, on top of that, he wrote, I will fire, file a counter lawsuit seeking $2 million in damages for slander, emotional distress, and data breach. I don't know if you're going to be able... Okay. This comes shortly after I announced I was publishing an article in the Wall Street Journal. Now, what I found interesting about this is Zach, actually, Zach Peter, the one who we you know went on tour with, everybody knows Zach. He wrote, this is not true. If a lawsuit had been filed, it'd be available in public record. No such lawsuit exists. Where is Emily D. Baker at this point? Maybe she even had her attorneys threaten him. I, I don't know. I'm not well, I'm not, I don't talk to Lisa Renna. I don't talk to Patrick. I have no idea, but this is all obviously going to come out. And I'm wondering if Andy Cohen will bring it up at the reunion because today's Monday, but this Friday coming up, we'll be in California, but the reunion will be filming for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And it's going to be very telling. I'm so curious who's going to be in and who's going to be out after this because based off of the women's social media behavior, I mean, mainly Lisa Rinna's, I don't really foresee her having much of a future on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But then she also said, I'm like a cockroach and you're never going to get rid of me. But she also erased all traces of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills from her social media. So which one do you believe at this point? And if this guy is saying that he's suing, I mean, you know what's going to give us a lot of, you know, a lot of intel here is he claimed, Patrick claimed, and here's the thing. He claimed that he was going to the reunion. He was invited to the reunion, and it's the first time ever that a, someone who's not a friend or a family member has been invited to the reunion. The reunion is on Friday. If he doesn't show up at the reunion, then that proves that he lied about it. But what's going to happen is I can see this where if he doesn't show up, which I don't foresee him showing up, he's going to say something like, oh, well, Lisa Renna threw a fit, so they disinvited me, just like Brandy Glanville got disinvited from filming the reunion just moments before because Denise Richards was like, nope, that's not happening. Ay, ay, ay. All right, on top of that, we also have Diana Jenkins, who is now trying to, she's on a mission to repair her reputation and shut down the rumors that she's connected to Jeff Epstein and any sort of other rumors. And this is coming from a source that's, well, talking to page six, she wants to end all of these lies about Epstein and being a madam. Right now, she's really focused on shutting down all that's being said about her. She's not just doing this because she's bored. People keep on repeating lies and she wants them to stop. 
I mean, she did send out cease and desist to eight different creators. So she obviously wants someone to stop. I will no longer sit back and allow them to smear my name with impunity. I've instructed my lawyers to take whatever action is necessary to remove the false statements and to pursue justice from those who have been spreading lies about me. Yeah, I had somebody message me and they're like, Adam, you're not sticking up for your fellow content creators. That's not, first of all, it's not my job. And if someone is being done wrong, then yeah, that's, you know, then I feel bad for you. But I was reading some of the cease and desist and it's not just about the Epstein stuff and being called a madam and all of these other things. Some people were saying some very nasty, nasty, gross things, things that would never come out of my mouth. And I was reading it and I'm like, mm, what else? I mean, what did you think she was going to do? We saw Cardi B also sue. We've seen celebrities sue YouTubers before and sometimes they win. So that's why it's scary. You can't just go on and say whatever you want because it's walking like a fine line. You can say allegedly, and you can say, talk about stories that have already come out there and ask what people's opinions are, but you can't say, I know for a fact, as if you were in the room, unless you were in the room. That's the problem. Anyways, Diana is on a mission to restore her reputation. She built a great reputation as human rights act activist, philanthropist, and a businesswoman. She, they also said that she's very much so looking forward to the season 12 reunion and it's her chance to clear some of these things up. Well, Diana, we're ready for you to clear them up too. Guys, I want to hear what your opinions are. What are your thoughts about Lisa Rinna and this whole alleged lawsuit with Patrick Somers? Do you believe this? Who do you believe? I'm going to ask you the same thing that they asked in the poll. Do you believe Lisa Rinna or do you believe Patrick? Do you, Patrick is the one who's stating that Lisa is suing him for 350000 He's saying he's countersuing for $2 million. Do you think there's any truth to this? Or do you think that this is just another, well, cry for attention? I don't know at this point. I'm so confused. I am so confused. I need receipts. I want to see, like, I want Emily D. Baker to come on here and say, yes, I saw this lawsuit filed. Or no, this lawsuit has never been filed. I need that. And on your way out, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. We are going live, like I said at the beginning of this video, for Hot Messy Topics at 12 p.m. Eastern today. So shortly after you watch this video, we'll be going live. And we have a lot to talk about. From She by Sheree, the website crashing right after she launched it. Poor Sheree, she can't ever catch a break. We have this Vanderpump Rules, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills crossover stuff to talk about. I mean, there's just drama all across the board. So lots to discuss. And then let's whine about it tonight. If you guys are not you know, a part of our memberships, you can go join for $1.49 for your first month. Click the link in the description of this video. We're talking about our next interview that we're flying out for this week, a uh, hot messy podcast and changes. Well, we have a change of plans when it comes to BravoCon. So lots to discuss. I love you guys so much. Smash the like button, get subscribed, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.